there's some not so good news for cats. Their brains might actually be shrinking and it could be all our fault. Stay tuned for some new scientific insights into cats, including why their brains are getting smaller, how many hundreds of facial expressions they can make, whether cats can be left or right handed, and some ways we might be unintentionally harming our cats. First, it's true that cats' brains are actually getting smaller, especially in domestic cats compared to their wild ancestors. A 2023 study compared the skull size of modern house cats to African and European wild cats. The researchers found up to a 25% reduction in brain size in domesticated cats in the last 10,000 years. Smaller skull means smaller brain. Scientists hypothesize that selecting for tame cats during domestication may have impacted how their brains develop. It's actually not so unique in domesticated animals. Similar things have been found in dogs, sheep, and rabbits. And while wild animals need larger brains for problem solving and survival, domestic pets don't face nearly the same environmental pressures or dangers. So your cat may have a smaller brain than its wild cat cousins, but that doesn't mean it's less intelligent just further adapted to a comfortable life by your side. Cats certainly have enough brain power still to let us know what they're thinking in some cool ways. In a groundbreaking study, researchers discovered that cats can use hundreds of distinct facial expressions to communicate. Over a year, they recorded 276 different expressions among 50 cats at a Los Angeles cat cafe. The cats' faces revealed a wide range of emotions and states of mind. Each expression combined a different set of 26 distinct facial movements, including parted lips, dilated pupils, blinking, and ear positions. Fortunately, more of the expressions were considered friendly than aggressive. They even identified a play face, with the mouth corners drawn back, resembling a laugh, much like in species like dogs and humans. While more research here is needed, the authors hope that their findings shed light on the rich inner lives of our feline friends. Have you ever noticed your cat making this happy play face? Let us know down in the comments. Another thing to watch for when you play with your cat, have you ever noticed your cat favoring one paw over the other? They may do it when pawing a toy or when knocking things off the counter. Well, it turns out that feline paw preference might be more than just a quirky behavior. According to a recent study, female cats are significantly more likely to be right paw dominant, while male cats typically favor their left paws. The researchers monitored groups of male and female cats in their daily home lives, observing which paw they tended to lead with when walking downstairs, stepping over litter box edges, or lying down to sleep. The findings revealed that 73% of cats showed a paw preference when reaching for food, 70% of them when they go downstairs, and 66% of them when they stepped over the litter box edge. Interestingly, neither male nor female cats seem to have a preferred sleeping side. Something else you might notice when your cat is walking? That belly pouch that swings side to side underneath them. Before we explain that, thanks for taking a moment to hit the like button and to subscribe to Pet Spotlight to help spread the word. Okay, if your cat looks a little pudgy in the belly area, don't necessarily worry. That hanging flap of skin and fur is actually a perfectly normal feature called the primordial pouch. All cats have these pouches along their undersides. They vary greatly in size though. Some pouches are barely noticeable while others swing dramatically as the cat walks or runs. So what's the purpose of these peculiar pouches? Well, they may protect the internal organs from claws or bites during fights by providing an extra layer of padding. The stretchy pouch might also allow greater flexibility and stride length for running and hunting. Or it provides extra storage space for food, an adaptation for felines that don't get regular meals in the wild. And here's one potential less happy explanation. Some cats get stretched bellies from worm infestations, especially stray cats. Their bellies then stay saggy even after they're treated and they're healthy again. Their primordial pouch develops around six months old in both male and female cats. And big cats like lions and tigers have them too for these same reasons. But don't confuse a pouch with obesity. If you can't easily fill your cat's ribs, it might be time for a diet. Stay tuned for more cat quirks, including two things you might be doing that actually could hurt your cat. First though, if your cat is on the pudgy side, you might see it less of doing this next cool cat trick. Have you ever been amazed by your cat's ability to contort themselves and squeeze through the smallest gaps and spaces? The key to this feline flexibility lies in their unique shoulder anatomy. Unlike humans, a cat's shoulder blades and tiny collarbones are not rigidly connected to the rest of their skeleton. Instead, they're attached only by muscle, allowing for some incredible contortion. 
This adaptation helps cats fit into tight spaces for hunting small prey and hiding from predators. A 2014 study concluded that, given enough time, cats can fit into containers of virtually any shape, from sinks to vases to wine glasses. So why the obsession with tight spaces? Experts say that cats feel safer and more secure in small, enclosed areas when they're stressed or in need of privacy. Next, we have one thing that lots of people do that could actually be hurting your cat. As cats age, most of them lose their ability to digest the natural sugars found in milk. Cats basically become lactose intolerant. Consuming dairy can lead to digestive issues like diarrhea or vomiting in some cats. Cow's milk also contains high levels of fat and phosphorus, which could contribute to obesity and kidney problems. Experts say there are no nutritional benefits to giving milk to cats once they're already eating a balanced diet. So while that cute kitty lapping milk may be an irresistible image, it's generally best to skip the dairy for your feline friend's health. Before we get to another way you could be hurting your cat, this next cat oddity is one of the strangest. Have you ever noticed the nearly bald patches around your cat's ears? It might look a bit peculiar, but that sparse fur could actually serve an important purpose. Scientists theorize that the lack of fur near the ears evolved to enhance hearing, especially for detecting ultrasonic sounds from rodents. The bare patches may help funnel and focus sound waves directly into the ear canal. This trait's found across a lot of small cat species like ocelots or lynxes, which are primarily rodent hunters. Larger cats like tigers and lions that pursue bigger game don't have these same bald patches, suggesting that the hairless areas are specifically useful for hunting tiny prey. Their ears may be bald, but cats certainly have plenty of other distinctive fur patterns. You may have noticed that a huge number of cats have cute white paw markings. Many people affectionately call them socks. You can thank thousands of years of domestication. The wild ancestors of today's house cats had coats that were perfectly camouflaged for their natural habitats. They needed to avoid predators and sneak up on prey. But then for unknown reasons, the domestication process favored genetic mutations that caused these white patches, especially on the face, the chest, the belly, and the paws. And it didn't hurt that these distinctive markings probably made cats much more endearing to their early human caretakers. The science behind socks lies in how cat fur develops. As an embryo, waves of pigment cells migrate outwards from the back. But when these waves don't quite make it all the way down the legs, you get these adorable white feet. And what about the rest of cat's cool marking patterns? Stripes, spots, tortoiseshell? A groundbreaking new study uncovered the genetic code behind these patterns. Researchers found that several key genes cooperate to create unique fur patterns. It all starts during a cat's embryonic development. One gene determines whether a cat will have stripes or swirls, but a different gene plays a crucial role in organizing the actual patterning. These key genes make certain skin cells develop hair follicles that produce dark fur pigment, and where that gene is more active, you get light fur, and where it's suppressed, dark patches emerge. This same genetic mechanism helps explain the distinctive markings of other mammals too, from cheetahs to zebras. Now, we already shared how milk can be bad for cats, but it's not the only way we could be hurting our cats. We've all giggled at cats going crazy after sniffing catnip, but have you ever stopped to think, are we actually getting our feline friends high on a drug? The key compound in catnip is called nepetalactone. When a cat smells it, they start rolling around, drooling, and getting the zoomies. It makes them loopy by triggering pleasure receptors in the brain. However, experts say there's no evidence that cats get hooked on it in the same way as some drugs in humans. Still, the ethics of intentionally getting any animal, even briefly loopy on a substance, are being called into question. What do you think? Should we reevaluate giving mood-altering catnip to our furry friends? Whether catnip induced or not, cats love to play. We're all familiar with dogs retrieving balls, frisbees, and toys, but did you know that many cats also enjoy a rousing game of fetch? A new study surveying nearly 1,000 cat owners revealed some fascinating insights. An overwhelming 94% of respondents said that they are cat fetches without any training from the owners. Cats seem to dictate when and how fetch is played, though, and they usually lose interest pretty fast. So why do cats fetch at all? Experts theorize it could be an ancient instinct, like wild cats bringing prey to a safe area after hunting. While the origins remain a mystery, one thing's for sure, our feline friends seem to enjoy fetch, even if it's strictly on their own terms. You should check out this next video on some of the hidden benefits cats bring to our lives. Thanks for joining us at Pet Spotlight and for subscribing to never miss new insights into your pets.